Have you ever wondered how a single visit can spark a diplomatic row? Let's delve into a recent event that has caused quite a stir in the diplomatic circles. On the 10th of January, 2024, the British High Commissioner in Islamabad, Jane Marriott, along with a UK Foreign Office official, decided to pay a visit to Pakistan-occupied Kashmir, or as it's commonly referred to, Poké. This seemingly straightforward visit has led to a significant uproar in the Indian government. You see, this region, Poké, is a disputed territory, with both India and Pakistan claiming sovereignty. From India's perspective, any foreign diplomatic presence in Poké without its consent is viewed as a direct challenge to its claim over the region. This seemingly innocuous visit by British diplomats has therefore stirred the pot, causing considerable unrest within the Indian government. India sees this visit as an infringement of its sovereignty and territorial integrity. This incident is a stark reminder of how fragile international diplomacy can be and how a single visit can ignite a diplomatic firestorm. Wondering how India has responded to this provocation? Well, the Indian Ministry of External Affairs has made its stance crystal clear. The ministry has voiced serious concerns over the recent visit made by the British High Commissioner in Islamabad, Jane Marriott, along with another UK Foreign Office official to the Pakistan-occupied Kashmir, a territory that India claims as its own. The ministry sees this visit as a blatant infringement of its sovereignty and territorial integrity. It's akin to someone inviting themselves into your home without your permission. It's not just about the physical presence. It's about respect, diplomacy, and acknowledging the territorial rights of a nation. In response to this, the Ministry of External Affairs has done more than just voice their concerns. They've lodged a strong protest with the British High Commissioner in India. This isn't a mild diplomatic note. It's a forceful expression of displeasure. A clear statement that India won't stand by while its sovereignty is being encroached upon. But let's be clear. This isn't a one-off event. India has consistently stood its ground when it comes to violations of its territorial integrity. It has conveyed its objections in the past too, even to superpowers like the United States, when the American ambassador to Pakistan paid a visit to the Pakistan-occupied Kashmir. The Indian government doesn't take such matters lightly, and this is not the first time it has expressed its objections. Did you know this isn't the first time India has raised its voice against such visits? History bears witness to the fact that India has repeatedly objected to foreign visits to Pakistan-occupied Kashmir, regarded by India as an infringement of its sovereignty. Let's rewind the clock and take you back to a similar incident that stirred the diplomatic waters. There was a time when the United States found itself at the receiving end of India's disapproval. The American ambassador to Pakistan had planned a visit to the disputed region, a move that didn't sit well with India. The Indian Ministry of External Affairs didn't mince words in expressing its objection to the visit. The incident served as a clear message to the world about India's unwavering stance on its territorial rights. Not just the United States, but any country that attempts to disregard India's claim over the region is bound to face strong resistance. This history of protests underscores India's commitment to protecting its territorial integrity. It is a testament to the country's consistent and firm stand against any actions that it perceives as undermining its sovereignty. India's stand against such visits remains consistent and firm. What does this mean for future diplomatic relations? As we delve into the possible repercussions of this event, it becomes clear that the diplomatic ties between India, Pakistan, and the United Kingdom could be strained. This visit, viewed by India as a breach of its sovereignty and territorial integrity, might lead to a cooling of relations between these nations. Increased diplomatic tensions could result in a range of outcomes. For instance, there might be a reduction in bilateral talks, a slowdown in economic cooperation, or even a suspension of diplomatic ties in extreme scenarios. However, it's also possible that this incident could serve as a catalyst for dialogue and resolution. 
it might prompt these nations to engage in discussions about the disputed region, potentially leading to a better understanding of each other's perspectives and concerns. Of course, the exact implications are hard to predict. Much will depend on how each country chooses to respond and whether they can find common ground in the midst of this controversy. Diplomacy is a complex game, after all, and the next move is always uncertain. This incident is a reminder that diplomatic relations can be delicate, and even a single visit can spark a major controversy.